Hi, my name is Bill Laboon. I'm the Technical Education Lead at Web3 Foundation here in Zug, Switzerland. And today I want to discuss how you can claim your dots on the Polkadot mainnet. So just to make sure everybody is on the same page before we start, uh, this is strictly for people who have purchased dots in a previous sale and have their Ethereum address where their dot allocation is stored. So before we begin, please make sure that you have access to that Ethereum account and that you have internet access and that you have some way of signing uh, a message with your Ethereum key. So I'm going to recommend that you use my crypto. That's what I'll be using uh, to demonstrate uh, this. However, if you have a different way that you prefer of signing an Ethereum key, uh, feel free to use that. So the first thing that you must do in order to claim your dots is go to polkadot.js.org slash apps. Uh, so if you go uh, to that, uh, it will automatically take you uh, to the Explorer. Please make sure that uh, you are in the upper left hand corner, you can see I'm connected to Polkadot CC1. Um, if it doesn't say uh, Polkadot CC1, if it says, for instance, Kusama or West End or something else, uh, please make sure that you go to one of the Polkadot nodes. So here you can see I'm at Polkadot Live, hosted by Parity. Um, but uh, you know, feel free to uh, go to any one that says uh, Polkadot. You will notice here uh, I, I have a little exclamation point letting me know that I don't have uh, an account, uh, any accounts listed here. You will need to have an account uh, in order to, uh, to claim to it. So uh, you generally, as you notice from this, it is recommended you create, store your apps, uh, uh, excuse me, your account securely and externally. Uh, there is uh, an extension uh, available for use. Uh, you also could use Parity Signer or um, any other method of, of storing your accounts. So just um, for uh, uh, purposes uh, of this, uh, I'm just going to show you how to add an account uh, using a very simple way. But uh, again, this is not the most secure way. This is simply so we uh, can get on uh, with the actual claiming. But please feel free to um, claim in a different way. So I'm going to make an account. I'm going to call it uh, test dots uh, or te well, to test claim dots. Okay. I'm going to uh, give it a password. Uh, make sure that you write down your mnemonic seed. You also will be able to save your, um, uh, you, the, the, the JSON file it creates. You can ignore the key pair crypto type and secret derivation path. Just leave those as the defaults. Click save, create and backup account. So I now have an account uh, to which I can claim dots. Uh, so you'll notice I don't have that little uh, red circle with an exclamation point. Then I'll click on the claim tokens tab. Uh, select your Polkadot account. I'm going to keep it on the test claim dots and continue and enter the ETH address from the sale. So I'm going to copy and paste over my ETH address and click continue. And it will then uh, bring up uh, 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 terms uh, and conditions that you uh, will have to agree to. Uh, we call this attestation. Uh, when you are um, uh, claiming your dots. So please review uh, the statement that you uh, uh, are purchasing with. And then to indicate your agreement with that and to prove that you own this Ethereum account, we're going to take this message, you can click to copy the, the whole thing, or you can copy and paste uh, the whole thing manually. Um, and we're going to sign it with that Ethereum account. 
So before we do this, uh, I just want to uh, bring something up that some sharp-eyed uh, viewers may notice. It says pay dots to the Polkadot.account BE4B, whatever. And if we go up, you'll notice that is different from the address, which is 15JWX, etc., etc. Uh, this is expected because what you are, the, your Polkadot account here, what it is listing your public key. So that is slightly different than your address. Although the address can always be derived from the public key, um, the address also contains information that says what network it belongs to. But since this same public key can be used on a variety of different networks, uh, we uh, just with different uh, prefixes indicating the network it belongs to, uh, we actually pay uh, to that particular Polkadot account. So now that we have our message that we're going to be uh, signing, which has really two parts, paying dots to your account and also uh, your agreement of this, uh, uh, the statement that we, that we just viewed. So now we, uh, I'm going to copy and paste uh, that, uh, uh, I'm going to paste that uh, message and move over to my crypto. So please give me one moment as I change this to the My Crypto window. So when you start up My Crypto, you're going to go to the tab Sign and Verify Message. And here you'll choose how to access your wallet. So there are a variety of different ways depending on how you stored uh, your Ethereum. Um, I'm just going to enter in a private key, even though this is not the most secure way of, of doing this, and unlock it. I now have a text box where I can uh, enter my message. And when we sign it, we're going to prove cryptographically that we own the address that we uh, said, said that we did. And this way we can prove that we are the rightful owners of this dot. So, I'm going to copy and paste my message and sign the message. So if all goes well, I should see that I successfully signed the message and I can now copy and paste this signature and go back. Uh, I, uh, I can exit now uh, my crypto and go back to the uh, Polkadot UI. So in this bottom most uh, text box, I'm going to enter, uh, uh, paste in uh, what I got from there. So you'll notice it has my Ethereum address, the message, uh, and uh, the, the signature. And then I'm going to confirm my claim. So now, if all goes well, I should see that uh, my Ethereum account has a valid claim for 0 0.01 dots. But I haven't actually done anything on uh, uh, I haven't actually claimed yet. Uh, after, to actually claim, I'm, I've just proven my claim, I need to actually now claim it. So I'm going to uh, hit claim and uh, send a broadcast a transaction uh, over the network that will uh, collect, uh, excuse me, that will um, uh, claim my dot. So I'm going to submit. And you can see here we had a successful uh, event. So uh, I have now claimed and endowed my accounts with a balance. And if I go over to accounts, I can see now that this test claim dots uh, has a balance of 0 0.010 dots. So if you follow all of these steps, uh, you should have no problem uh, securing your dots and claiming your dots. Uh, however, if you do hit into any problems or can't figure something out, uh, then I recommend that you make sure that you go through uh, all the steps at claims.polkadot.network uh, and verify. Uh, we, we have a lot of FAQs and information there on how to claim. Or if you uh, really find yourself in, in a spot and can't figure uh, something out, you can email our support desk. That's at support at polkadot.network. So, I look forward to seeing you in the Polkadot ecosystem and using your dots to build. Thank you.